What's up guys? I have a um, knife review for you today and it's of uh, this knife. Well first I want to show you the packaging of it's a Protec knife. It's the Magic 2 whiskers with black handle carbon fiber inlay on the front black blade plane. Um, so they actually Protec actually um, I think this is supposed to be on this side. I think they they changed their box up for I believe their 20th year anniversary. Yeah, there you go. 20th year anniversary. They used to have kind of like a green cardboard box, but they um kind of like dressed it up some. So I just want to show you what what comes in the box. Have uh this information right here. Um the Protect knives are made in the USA comes in a bag and then you also have a microfiber cloth that you can use so pretty cool um, packaging you know some people like it um, other people don't care but it's to me it's a nice touch so um, just wanted to show you that and to get to the main event this is the Protec Magic 2. Now they have a um, Magic 1 and let me go ahead and put paste that um, on the screen so you can kind of get a, a feel of what that looks like. Um, it's a little bit smaller than this. Now this is kind of a, a um, bigger knife so let me go ahead and roll the specs in also. So if you want to pause and read go ahead and do that. This knife was provided by Protec to the Passeron group, so really, that was nice of them. Like I said, USA made knife. It, um, there's, there's the name. It has this very nice deep carry clip with these recessed screws and an integral lanyard hole into the frame. It's kind of cool. Um, Fit and finish is very good. You can see this sticks up a little bit, um, not flush, but um, that might be by design. But let me show you what it looks like in the pocket. Hold on. With this deep carry clip, it's going to completely go into the pocket, and this clip works very good. I, re I really like the clip. Um, um, so this kind of and then it has this very nice carbon fiber inlay in there so they it comes in different um styles of, of handle and everything like that um check the blade centering is a tad off not too bad but um so with the magic one the bolster moved like that and that's how you would engage it with the Magic 2, the the hole, you can see this is split here, and then it rotates around the um, pivot here. So, and it actually gives you kind of some cues. It has some, I don't know if you want to call this jimping. I guess you can call it jimping here, and then there's also some over here. So that kind of gives you clues about how to engage the knife um, to get it to come open. So, basically, what you're gonna do. And this does does take a while to kind of like get the hang of, but once you once you know it, it's it's um, pretty good. Now it, you can see that it has some wear on the on below the clip, and that's because you have to if you're not holding on right here um, to you could your hands could slip off on the clip and grind the clip back and forth. So. I think um, one critique I, I would have is that it's nice to have this centered here, but for the purposes of opening this knife, this clip, if it would be located over here, if they moved it over here, I think it would eliminate the chances of your finger slipping off and grabbing the clip to use that as force to open the knife because the clip would be over here, so most of your hands would be still on the frame. So. I'll kind of uh, show you from a top view of how this knife is going to come open. So 
I'll use my fingers and place my fingers here and place them on the jimping. And then with the pad of my thumb, I'm going to push push into it. And you can see the the lock bar disengage there. So this is almost like a back lock, except it locks in the in the um, locked position and also lock, locks in the closed position. So you will not be able to get this knife out whatsoever. Um, one good thing is I told my wife was you could let this knife hang out and kids would not be able to figure this out. At least three-year-olds and two-year-olds and stuff. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So as you're pushing with the meat of your hand, you're also going to bring back with your fingers. And there you go. You saw it. It snaps right out. And then you can see in here the um, that little silver pin where right above my finger is the, kind of like a lock bar, tension bar, like on a lock back knife. And yeah, so there you can see. Um, the blade is 154 cm. That would be the only other complaint that I'd have is that for this price of a knife that you would you would upgrade the steel to. I know they make S35VN knives. Um, the the Newport is S35VN, and some of the other smaller knives are S35VN. I think the um, uh, what's it called the the Sprint the I think it's called the Sprint. Whatever it is, I'll put the corrected name on the the screen now of whatever one I was thinking of because I'll go back and find it later. But um. So yeah, like I said, it locks closed and also locks open. So hey, you have the strength of a lockback right now in a in a automatic knife, which is great because normally lockbacks are button locks, and lockback I I feel is the strongest lock. But um, let's do a size comparison so you'll see how big this knife is. It is about a half inch bigger than a PM2 overall so you can see it's not a um, not a small knife that's why I said the the magic one I think I might prefer that one better because because of the size this is a bigger knife but it's comfortable in the hand so if you want a big automatic knife I would I would recommend this and I would recommend this on the cool factor too because I think it's really cool um, like I said, it will require some get, getting used to opening and shutting the knife, but once you have it, it's not really an issue. So, like I said, just put your fingers here and with your thumb pad, uh, slide it forward, and there you go. You can do it all day long. So... Very, very cool knife. Thank you, ProTech, for the chance to check it out. And if you guys, like I said, if you want a big automatic, it's a very quality knife, and I recommend it. So I hope you guys have a good one. Take care.